much he receives. You know, like we learn every day new stuff. And he still is a man, he's a human. Can we give the world best the same as we give it to Allah? We give it to Muhammad, yes or no? No. No. So how the Quran and the Hadith, especially the Hadith, all of it says Allah and His Messenger know best. Allah and His Messenger know best. All over. So you Muslims are mushrikeen. You worship a man beside Allah. So, and you are the one who said agreed that we should not say Allah and Muhammad knows best because only Allah knows best and the man will never know best because whatever he knows is very limited. Read with me this hadith in front of us on the screen. Can you see it? Sir, I cannot see. Can you look at the, at my YouTube channel? Sir, I, I cannot. Um, okay. I can't see. I was sitting behind the Messenger of Allah. This is Abu, Abu Dhar, the father of the ants speaking, who okay. was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, do you know where this set? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said, it's set in a spring of boiling water. Your prophet never get upset from saying that he know best the same as Allah. Never. And the Muslim keep repeating it every time they have such a conversation. Allah and his messengers knows best. And you are the one who agreed that the only one knows best is Allah because we can give the word best to two because that means they are not best they are equal yeah okay so how we can say Allah and his apostle knows best I'm sorry repeat that again you agreed with me I said we cannot say that both of them they knew best because that made them equal you said yeah yes okay what uh, this is what the Quran Islam teach Islam teach you that Allah and Muhammad are equal because both they know best. It doesn't say that Muhammad knows less some and Allah knows best. No, it says Allah and his apostle know best. That's fair. Where does it say that? This is in the hadith. It's all over. This is hadith in Sunan Ibn Dawood, hadith number 4002. It is sahih. Here we go in Arabic. It says sahih. Sahih al Isnad. The sun set in muddy spring of water, hot water. And remember, Allah knows best. Allah do not even know where the sun set. But now what we found that the Muslims are nothing but pagan mushrikeen. They associate a man, Muhammad, with, with, with their God, claiming that their God and a man they know best. So they made the man equal to Allah in his knowledge. And that cannot be true. Because there is no man. I mean, whatever we know, we know nothing yet. The galaxy is imagine what what God knows, and we do not know. We know nothing, right? Correct. I mean, we we are just smaller than a mosquito for him. So how we can compare the knowledge of a man to the knowledge of a God? And you are and you, and you when you put the name associating with God is what is to making someone else equal to him. Do we agree? Yes. But this is what you Muslim did. You just said, Allah and his apostle knows best. Sure. Um, you should leave Islam, my friend. This is a pagan cult. You, Muhammadan, they, and Muhammad, he leveled himself upon the earth and he made himself equal to God. He never complained about Muslims saying to him, Allah and his message. You will find this everywhere. Almost every single statement, Allah and his apostle know best. And Muhammad never said to them, shame on you to say that. Only Allah knows best. Yeah, um... That's that's fair. If if that actually did happen, then a man was made equal with God. But um, like I said, back to your other point of like I said, no, like like I said, if you were correct, then I will look into that and I will say that's a fair one. If I'm not versed in the topic, I won't speak. It's up, in right? the front of you. You see, I'm not making things up, my friend. You can open YouTube. You can look. 
I'm not making any things. You can go right now yourself, go to sunnah.com and type, you know, Allah and his message knows best and you will find it all over. Allah and his apostle knows no best. Here we go. You can watch the video later and I will type Allah and his apostle know. You will find it all over. Endless. Allah and his apostle know best. Allah and his apostle know best. So, and you agreed, if this is true, that means you Muslims, you made Muhammad equal to God and that means you are pagan and you are mushrikeen and Muhammad simply trying to replace God making himself God on earth fooling people if I am you and I can tell you agree with me you are a decent uh, 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 young man you know you should leave Islam right away this is madness yeah that appears to be that appears to be a contradiction um, I will look into that if I, if I really cannot find anything that that um, if if that's a clear cut thing, then yeah, sure. Um, but I didn't want to. But you know, while while you are saying you want to search it, when I am showing it to you, you can just open the screen, and you can read it, and you will see I am not making things up. Why we need to wait until next century to find out when I am showing it to you on the screen. This is like you know I'm showing you from I'm showing you the hadith number, the words in Arabic, the words in English, you know this is not my words. And later you can call me and you tell me, oh Christian Prince, you lied to me. He doesn't say that, you know that will be very embarrassing, isn't it? If 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 you actually did not lie, then why would I call you and tell you that you lied, right? Okay, but was but that's mean. I am so sure to the point. I am going live on air, showing my screen. Everybody is watching, and. People, they can, you know, get me busted. They can say he's lying. It doesn't say that. Nowhere it says that. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, for me, for a claim, I like to, like I said, if that mm -hmm. is, if there is a clear cut, if there's no way to, you know, go into that, then that's a man made equal with God. Then sure, I will give you that. Um, but like I said, if there's a claim made, I want to, I'm a person of, that if there's a claim made, I want to search. I want to find. I want to analyze it uh, thoroughly, hmm. and I want to do that. But if that okay, is okay, uh, sure. let's put that aside. I will give you time. You know, you can call okay. me ne next time you call me. Sure. But so, what do you think about Muhammad saying the sun set in a spring of hot water? You said sorry? that Muhammad get his knowledge from Allah, correct? Yes. Okay. Is that really a knowledge from Allah? What do you mean? Do you agree that the sun set in a hot spring of water? Like it can it can appear that it sets in a hot spring of water, right? Okay. First of all, does it say there it appear or it says it set? Suddenly, secondly, how it can appear? This is a spring of water. Have you ever heard of somebody it appeared to him that the sun going in a spring of water? Spring you know what spring mean? Like a spring of water, like a like spring, a spring, yeah, spring, spring. The Arabic it says spring. Ain on Hamia, Ain, Ain is a spring. What you okay, think? so wait, what happened? What do you think? You are so quiet. Yeah, I think um he might be describing like what it what it looks to be to you be see, like. You see, my friend, yes. I don't know, you call yourself Andrew Tate. I don't know even why you give yourself such a name. I mean this guy is a pimp and you don't sound like a pimp, you sound like a nice guy. Listen to me carefully. Uh you keep saying it it appear it say does it say there it's appear, he said. He asked him, the guy asked him, Muhammad actually is the one voluntarily asked the guy next to him in the donkey, do you know where the sun goes? Who is talking Muhammad? The man answer says, Allah and his apostle know best. Muhammad now he like it because now he is the best of knowledge beside Allah. He answer, he says, continue talking, it's set in a spring of warm water. 
Hami actually in Arabic, not warm. Hami mean hot, boiling. But this is what they translate in your Muslim website. But here, does it say it look like it appear? Maybe it appear. I mean, why we add words to what Muhammad said? Do you think Muhammad was a, a stupid person? He forgot to add the word appear. I don't think he's a stupid person. Okay, did he forget to add the word appear? Maybe. I think that was what he was. I think that's what he meant by that statement. Ah, that's what I'm saying. So, but that's mean. He gave us wrong information, because if he say it's set in a spring of warm water, that is a wrong information, and he is not giving us information from God, because there is no way God will say to him, "Tell them it's set in a spring of warm water." Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think he meant like it, it looks to be that it's said. Now, and I'm not saying he said it. I'm saying he meant with that statement. It sets like this. It, it looks to set like this. Like, like what? Like what? Like what he said. Okay, it's set in milk water. Yeah, this it appears to set like that. That's what he meant. Okay, but is, is that right or wrong? What? That it appears like that? Is it the sun? Is it wrong? Or it's right? Is, is, it, is he correct when he said the sun set in a boiling spring of water? Well, like I said, I think really means that it that the sun looks like it sets in a spring of water, right? So if he said that, if he said that, then um, if he said it looked like the set the sun was that's what he meant. It looked like the sun was set in a spring of muddy, uh, boiling water, like you said. Mm. Is that wrong? I'm asking you, you, is that wrong or right? Does the sun set in a muddy spring of water, boiling water? Does it? It does not set, but it might look like it does, yeah? Uh, That's what I meant. Okay. Uh, you see, you're trying to avoid my question, and I'm, I'm, I'm being patient with you. I understand you are young. Uh, maybe I'm the age of your father. Say hello to him, by the way. Uh, I'm asking you the question, please. Is it right to say... If I am teaching my student, if I am a teacher, that the sun set in a spring of boiling water, is that a correct information or I'm misleading them? If you say the sun sets like this, right? If, you, if that's what you mean, the sun sets like that, then that's misinformation. Okay, this is what he said. He said it set in a spring of boiling water. Exactly, this is what he said. Um, I believe he meant like it, it looks like it sets in a spring of boiling water. He so said, where does the sun go? It sets in a spring of boiling water. He means that people can look at it and see this is this is how it looks like it sets. Ah, so is it not, like, have you ever heard of somebody? He saw a spring of water and he saw the sun appear to be sitting there. I'm sorry? Have you ever heard of somebody went to the spring of water and he found the sun sitting there appear to him this way? Anyone ever in history of mankind? Spring of water is little tiny hole in the ground where water coming. That's it. That's why we call it spring, not river. Spring is a spring, correct? Yeah, spring okay. is spring. So it's okay. a small thing. It's not even a lake. It's not even a river. So a spring of water. Okay. So this is spring. Is it possible for somebody to appear to him that the sun sit in a spring of water? Is that possible? Even to appear? Is it possible to appear like it from someone looking at the sun? Yeah. Have you ever seen somebody? Did you have you ever go to the a spring of water somewhere before? I've never went to a spring of water. No, no, I've not. Okay, you can watch it on YouTube. Have you ever seen a sun of sudden in a spring of water? Have I ever seen sun spring a spring of water? My friend, you are trying just to defend a false man. Oh, obviously, it's a lie. I mean, first you want to make it look like it. Muhammad did not say. He said, "Do you know where it goes?" Okay, I want to ask you: Do the sun goes? What do you mean? Does the sun go? Okay, when the sun set. Is it the sun is going? Is it the sun moving? Mm. 
doesn't the sun move? I mean, the earth moves, sir. Well, okay, everything moves, you know, but this is not the question. During the time when the sun set, is it the sun going or the earth going around itself? Isn't it both of them? The earth moves, the sun moves. During the sunset time, everything yeah. is moving in the world, no problem. Nothing is fixed, okay. no problem. But this is not what we're saying. Now he is explaining the sunset. He's explaining that, correct? Do you know where, what he, what, what was the question? I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, who was riding a donkey while the sun was sitting. He asked, do you know where this set, where this set this what the sun so the sun, do you know where do you, do you know what the word where mean yeah where is the location correct yes exactly so your prophet is speaking about that the sun is going to set in a certain location do we agree do you know where the sun sets yeah sure yeah what okay where is where is the sunset give me the answer go ahead <laughs> What do you mean? Where does it says say everywhere? Exactly. But he did not say everywhere he said. I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said it's set in a spring of warm water. So you just get Muhammad busted, my friend. His son said everywhere. I do not know to go anywhere. I do not need to travel to a, to a spring of water to see the sunset. I can be set, even you can be inside jail and you can see the sunset if there's a window. You can be even in the end of the world. Even in Alaska, they have sunset and sunrise. Even in the North Pole, the South Pole. So you do not need to go anywhere to see the sunset. But your prophet claim, do you know where? Where? That means the sun is sitting in a specific location. And now he is going to tell you what is that. So where the sunset? I said, Allah and his apostles know best because we are Muslims. We are pagan associate Muhammad with Allah knowledge. And then he continued, he liked it. He said, it's set in a spring of warm water. It's set in, not as if, not it appear, not look like. So, we, you know, Muslims always, they try to duct tape what Muhammad say because it's so stupid. And people today, they laugh at it because they knew it's wrong. But in the time of Muhammad, he can let it go because people are illiterate. Even Muhammad, according to Muslim, he was illiterate. So, when you try to say to me, it appear, maybe he meant, it's, it says, it's set. Now, does the Quran say the same? Does it? Yeah. Don't you know? Where? Okay, here we go. You know Zul Qurnayn? Who? Zul Qurnayn. I think I've heard that in before, yes. Alexander the Great. Yeah. Okay. According to your prophet and the Quran, Alexander the Great, he was a Muslim and he was a messenger of Allah. And Allah gave him the power of everything. In chapter 18, verse number 86, it says that Alexander the Great, or Zulqarnayn, the man with the two horn, he keep going, he follow a road, verse number 85, then 86 says, till when he reached the sitting place of the sun. He reached where? He reached the sitting place of the sun. Remember, Azul Qurnayn or Alexander the Great, he spent his life war traveling. Actually, he did not even go back home since he left. He died abroad. So he reached the sitting place of the sun. And you remember, you are the one who said to me, the sun set everywhere, correct? Yeah. Okay. But he reached, according to the Quran, he reached the sun sitting place. He found it sitting in a muddy spring. Yeah, so what it means he found it, he found it setting, meaning what he was looking at with his own two eyes, right? He found it setting. That's what that's what it appeared to him. He found it, he found it. He was looking at it with his own two eyes, hmm. so he found it setting like this. That's what that's what that means. He found it. Okay, 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 okay. So yeah. he found it. That means he it's appear. Yeah, he found it. What what is that? Who, who is the one is talking? What do you mean? Who's the one who, in the Quran? Yeah, the verse here, who is talking, Allah or, or this, this guy, Alexander the Great? Well, if, if it's Allah, then Allah is talking. Okay, yeah? so how you say it appear? Why are you adding words? Why are you Muslim? You, you see, 
I'm not. I'm, I'm, you are a nice guy, but I, I don't want. I, when I say lie, don't be upset. Okay, take it friendly. While you are lying, adding words is not there. He said he found in dictionary. When I say I found, that means it appear. That um. So when he says he found it setting, uh -huh. that means that he was looking at it with his own two eyes. That's what no, that no, means. no, no. Hold on. I don't care about the eyes now. I'm asking you the word. That means that he was looking I found, at it. I found. I found. I found. I found. You see, does it say is I found is the same as as if he found or as if he saw so or as it appear? No. When I say I re, when I report a find, that means it's a fact. It is not maybe. It's not a thought. It is not not sure. He found it sitting where in a spring of muddy boiling water so you muslims in order to fix the stupid mistake in the quran you try to duct tape again shamefully saying he this is how he saw it okay let us say for the sake of argument he saw it this way but the quran saying he entered he reached the sitting place of the sun it's in the front of your eyes he reached the sitting place of the sun did he thought that this is the sitting place of the sun, or until he reached the sunny place of the sun. The Quran says, until he reached the sitting place of the sun. Not he thought it is the sitting of place of the sun. Not he appeared to him. So there's many things now there. He reached the sitting place of the sun. He found it. And now there's no ocean. So the Muhammadan, like Zakir Naik and those liars, they try to fool you and fool everybody. Say, when you look at the ocean, don't you see the sunlight going down in the ocean? That's false. Because first, this is not about the ocean. This is a spring of water. Secondly, this is a boiling spring of water. This is not just even a, a water. So Muhammad, he is attached to fictions. People, they have stories from different time. They knew that there are some places there is water, which is boiling, where the sun is getting its heat from. Maybe it takes shower in that boiling water and come back again. So where it says in his eyes, it look like you make it up. Do you admit? Or you can find me in there, it says, in his eyes, it appear that he found it in the water. So what is the word used for he found it? He found it, yeah, that's it. He found it. He did not say... You see, do Allah speak good Arabic or he is like a backstani guy he's trying to learn Arabic like Sheikh Uthman, catch a boy? Allah speak good Arabic, don't he? Yeah. Okay. Can't he replace the word found it by saying he thought? That's what I'm saying. What is the word used for he found it? It says yeah. found it. This is found it. Wajadaha. Wajadaha. He found it. The translation is accurate. And the word wajada mean he found something and it's a fact if i say i found a, a rat in my room i i did not think it's a rat i, I found if i want to say i think then i will use the word think but when i say i found that mean that is a finding that's not that's not like uh, i thought i i i was wrong found when I say the scientists they found that it's not a theory no more. It's not even an idea. They found. If I say your father found you playing game, did your father thought appear to his eyes or really he caught you playing games red-handed? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That's me. Yeah. Okay. I saw you are playing games. So now he did not say, I thought you are playing games. I found you playing games. And that's what the Quran is saying. He keep going until he reached the sitting place of the sun and he found it sitting in a muddy spring. He found it setting. So he was looking at the sun and that's how he found it setting. How right? you can find so that, my friend? You see, you see, Allah is talking. The one is reporting about the guy is Allah. The guy is dead. Allah is telling Muhammad, what happened to this guy? Allah is saying he found the sun setting place, which is false. Did he thought to? 
This is the guy. Did he think? It is his thought that the sitting place of the sun is here. Or Allah is saying to us, until he keep going, keep going, keep going. The guy is not talking. Allah is talking. He keep going, keep going, until he reached the sitting place of the sun. So it's Allah who is claiming that there is a sitting place of the sun. It's not the guy. I mean, wherever he goes, isn't that the setting place of the sun? Is the sun sets everywhere? Exactly. Then wherever so, he goes uh, no, but no, no, you see, not according to the Quran. According to the Quran, this guy, he keep going. Tell, tell, tell. Not tell the sunset, no. Not tell the sunrise, no. Tell he reached the setting place of the sun. So if I keep, if I say to you, I keep walking, 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 till I found a sitting, a chair to sit, that mean this is a place. It's not I thought. It's not maybe. It's not what appeared to my eyes. I found. So he keep going, keep going, keep going. This is not about even the time of the sunset yet. He found the sitting place of the sun. And then he found the sun setting after he arrived there in a muddy spring. Let us make it simple for you. What is the connection between the sun and the muddy hot spring? So when he says he found it, that means he's looking at the sun. He's looking at the sun. Mm. And that's what he was seeing with his own two eyes. The sun is no problem. Like so is Allah approving what he saw or he disapproving? What do you mean? <laughs> you see, he keeps saying to me, it was when he arrived to the sun, he found the sun, he appeared in his eyes. So did Allah agree the sun set in murky water or did not agree? I'm going with you. He's he's only speaking from the perspective of the person. He I don't care. Did Allah agree with him or not? Because my friend, just to show you how, you know, I, I feel sorry for you. You're trying to duct tape a stupid man. His name is Muhammad. In, in verse number 83, it says, They are asking about Zul Qurnayn. Say, I shall recite unto you remembrance of him. So they are questioning Muhammad to see how good knowledge he have. Allah now is supporting Muhammad, train them about what this guy found. So Allah, he agree. Not only he agree, he is telling us what nobody knows. He is telling us that he found where the sun set. And you, Muhammad, and you try to add the word add uh, as if it appeared to his eyes. When he arrived there, he saw it. Uh, when he arrived there, he thought all those words we cannot find in the Quran. So in order to solve a stupid story, you are trying your best to be dishonest with yourself. I will leave that between you and yourself. You can lie to yourself. Who cares? People are laughing. I'm laughing. But why you want to laugh at yourself? You are a smart, you know, a human being. And God gave you a brain. Use it. Know where it says what you are trying to say. And not only that. If you continue, you will see. Not only he found where the sun set, he found where the sun rise too. And then 10, tell when he, verse number 90, tell when he reached the rising place of the sun. Did this guy think this is the rising place? No. Does it say he thought this rising place of the sun? No. He found it rising on people. Does the sun rise on people? Rise in people everywhere. <laughs> so, you know, I will leave you with your honesty, you know, but I advise you, don't fool yourself. You are you are not fooling nobody. You are fooling yourself now. I feel sorry for you. I mean, you are a young kid and you sound like a very nice, polite, and I like that about you. But, you know, polite is not enough because polite does not make you a good liar. Still, you are a liar because you are trying to cover up. And even the Hadith, I show you the Hadith. The Hadith says that the Prophet said the sun set in murky water. Did, your, did Muhammad say in the Hadith, that Zul Qurnayn, he did not even mention Zul Qurnayn. He said, do you know where the sun set? The guy, he says, well, Allah and his apostles know best. Did Muhammad appear to him, the sun set in a spring of water too? I'm sorry, what? Did Muhammad did, do what? Did it appear to Muhammad too, that the sun set in a spring of water too? I mean, it, it looks like that. He, he where? Said it looks I like mean, this, this guy is in the desert. And yeah. the only spring of water is Zamzam, which is in the size of your fingers. So how is the sun will appear to be sitting there?
And if it's appeared there, why Muhammad claiming that he have knowledge? Why he is saying to the guy, do you know? The guy, he said, Allah and his apostle know best. And Muhammad now claim that, claim that he have the knowledge, knowledge, the best knowledge equal to God. And now he gave the answer. So did Muhammad, he was a foolish man, maybe like Zulqarnayn, he thought the sun set in murky water or appeared to him or he is stating his knowledge now. Are you asking me or are you saying something? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to a different person now. No, no, no. I'm saying, are you asking Let me a question? Let me repeat or again. Are you you are not focusing. You are nervous. Take it easy. I appreciate you actually calling. You are a young uh, person. So you, you know you dare to call me. That's very, very good. Uh, I'm saying, and I want to focus with me. You can write the question. When Muhammad, he said, after he asked the man, do you know where the sun set in? The man said, Allah and his apostle know best. Muhammad continued giving the answer saying, it set, it set, it set. Let me repeat again. It set, not it may be, not it appeared to me, not I thought, not I, uh, uh, you know, uh, my sunglasses are making a reflection. He said, it set in a spring of boiling water. Now, when Muhammad, he said, it's set in a spring of warm boiling water. Did he thought? And he is lying by saying it's set. Or he said it's set because he is sure. Yeah, so I think he means like it, it appears to set. In it a appeared to set. You see, you're adding yeah. the word appear now. So he say it's set, and then you say to me, I think he's saying it's appear. <laughs> Why you are adding the word appear? I mean, okay, let us say it appear. Are you saying to me, Muhammad, he made a foolish mistake when he said it's set, claiming that he have the knowledge from God when he said that? Yeah, if he said it's set, then that's that's a mistake. Well, this if what he, he said it's set, then that's a mistake, yeah. This is what he said. This is what he said, exactly. He did not say, maybe, I thought, and I'm not sure. He said, and I remember, he claimed that he had the, the, the best knowledge like Allah. So when this guy speak, and this is what he put in the Quran, the Quran is saying exactly the same. So Allah and Muhammad agree that the son set in a spring of water not Zulqarnayn he found maybe thought no he found it and Muhammad confirmed it Muhammad asking his man where the sun set the man he says Allah and his apostle knows best because Muslim are mushrikeen associate the knowledge of God with the knowledge of man and Muhammad he loved it now he is so proud of his knowledge he continued to give the answer which nobody know he said it's set in a spring of boiling water yeah yeah, if it's, yeah, if he said that, that's a mistake. Um, you have, like I said, you have built a strong case, and I do appreciate your continuousness to, you know, sit here and have this conversation. I do want to, like I said, you have built a strong case, and if, if that's what he said, then that's a mistake. Um, like I said, I appreciate you continuing to deliver this information. However, um, I do want to touch on something else, and then I will, I will dismiss you. Or to continue what you want to so, do. But okay, but now you appreciate and etc. What I mean, what I'm not here to hear from you, my friend, that you appreciate. I don't care if people appreciate or not. I want to hear from you. As long as this is a mistake, and this is a lie, not only a mistake. I mean, why you are saying a mistake? If I claim to be a prophet, I claim that I receive message from God. Especially when the people speak about me, they say Allah and His messenger knows best. So He is speaking of knowledge of messenger of God, not you know knowledge of somebody he claim have knowledge you know maybe he's wrong later no he claimed that his knowledge is from god so that's not a mistake that is a lie so why we cannot be honest like you've been honest until now like you said it's if this is what he said it's a mistake okay but this is not a mistake you're trying still to cover it up and give it a different definition this is not a mistake my friend because if i do not know i should not say do i agree 
Sure. Okay. So why he said such a statement, unless he is a liar? No, what I remember, he like he is a mistake. As a mistake, statement is a mistake. It's false, right? That's okay. Ah, so it's not. not it's he not, made a mistake. Ah, okay. So it's not a mistake. It's false. So he's making a false statement. That's what I meant. All right. The statement is a mistake. That's wonderful. So now me and you we agree. Muhammad is a false man. Yeah, if, that, if that's what he meant, then yeah, he made, he made, he made, a, he made a false statement. And that statement was a mistake. Okay, he's a false man. Thank you very much. I'm happy that to hear that from you. He's a false prophet. Yes, yeah, if, if that's what he meant, yeah. Um, like I said, I will... Uh, 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 before we continue, I'm happy really sorry. for you to agree with me and to find the truth. But I want you to tell me why you chose Andrew Tate to be your name in Skype. Uh, it, was a, it was an inside joke. But this is not a good joke. I mean, this guy is a pimp. Do you like? Do you do you wish to be a pimp like him? No, no, no. It's a it's an inside joke. Between... It's my friend. It's not right. It's not right. I mean, if you want to take a name, at least take a name of an honorable man, not a scumbag. You don't sound like a, a bad person, and that's why I wanna I wanna tell you as a younger brother of mine, don't call yourself such a name. That is a horrible name. No, I'm not saying I am agitated. I'm not agitated. That's that's the point. I am not saying you are saying that, but when you use this name here, as I see in Skype, first of all, I do not know who is talking. Look, I look in front of me. It says Andrew Tate. So, and then you are, then I'm talking to you now. I know it's not you. You are not Andrew Tate. But why you want to use such a name? That's a horrible name. I mean, this guy is a scumbag. He's a rapist. He's a pimp. He is a, a fraud. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, everything about him is, is, is wrong. So if you want to choose a name, and I'm advising you, choose even if you want to make a joke, at least choose a name, you know, of somebody somebody respectful, right? Wait, he was a rapist? Don't you know this guy? He's in jail because of that. I know about the alleged accusations, but are they? My friend, what alleged accusation? They have, you know, my, uh, this guy. He opened up a pimp business. He called himself pimp. Have you ever heard of a pimp? He don't rape. He must be a nice pimp. <laughs> I mean, a pimp isn't a rapist. No, a pimp is a rapist because a man of no honor is what pimp is. And a man of no honor, he do everything wrong. Do you agree with me that a man who works as a pimp, he have to be zero honor and ethic? No, I think that you can be... I think that you can you can still have ethics. Is you could just still be a pimp. Well, uh, so, like for example, so, say okay, okay. So you you bring girls, you lie to them, you tell them I love you, and then you ask them to do favor to you, open their camera and show men around the world so he can make money from those girls, and you are saying to me that he have ethic. I mean that's not rape. He has. F I mean, like I said, I don't agree. No, with No, no. But the I guy who do such done. a thing, he do rape. I mean, what is what is left? This is the most horrible thing. I and mean, he even go right on public and he say, he, he, you know, he called himself pimp. There's tons of videos saying he is, is, I open my pimp business, my pimp business. He keeps saying that. So this guy, he called himself a pimp. So why you want to call yourself a pimp? Anyway, give me the, you, you said to me, and I'm glad now you did, I agree Muhammad is a false man. What is the last thing you want to say to me? Okay. Yeah, like I said, if he meant, if if that's what he meant, that's what if then that this is what he meant. It's not up to you. It's not up to me. And you agreed, okay? Yeah, if that's if that's what he meant, then he's a false man. The last thing I want to say, um, did you? I, I might be misunderstanding you, but did you say that the Quran affirms the Bible? Did you say that? Is what? Confirm. The Quran affirms the Bible. Yeah, not only confirm the Quran says musaddiqun, which means believe in the Bible. Where um can you point me to somewhere says that? There's many verses, not only one, but I will show you the one they have an accurate translation because most of the verses the Muslim they try to duct tape it. If you go to chapter two, verse number eighty nine, it says, "Okay." And when there come into them scriptures from Allah, 
confirming that in their position. Is he talking about the Bible or? Yes. Where does he say the Bible at? You can read the verse before it. Speaking about Moses and the Jews and the Christians, we send Moses and the Isa and Maryam, and uh, we support them by the Holy Spirit, verse number 87. And then he says, when it come to them, to who? To those who follow Moses and Isa. When it come to them, a book confirming what is in their position. So what was in their possession back then when this was written? Whatever in their possession. This is 600 years after Jesus. That is the Bible. So when the Muhammadan they say, lying, that the one who corrupted Christianity is Paul, well, Paul by then is dead long time ago. And here we go, 600 years after Jesus, the Quran confirm what is in their possession. So our book never been corrupted. Yeah, so um, I think there's a verse that's I think that people say it affirms the Bible. Um, it's in chapter five, I think. There's a verse what? There's a verse people say affirms the Bible in chapter five. There is no, there's many verses, you know, I can show you endless, but isn't it enough one? I mean, because if there is verses saying the opposite, that would be a contradiction anyway. So if there is one, that's mean is enough. Yeah. Right? So the verse says we sent Moses, Jesus, and Miriam. Right? Is that is that what the verse says? The verse before the verse you said you quoted. Let me let me show you. Chapter okay. two, verse number two ninety seven. Uh, chapter two, yeah. verse number ninety seven. Yes. It says, uh, "Say, O Muhammad, who is ever the enemy of Jibril, for indeed he has brought between the bracket the Quran down to their heart, confirming." what is between their hands look in arabic just to show you how you know you, you said you don't know arabic but i advise you to learn arabic so you can see how muslim they lie to you in arabic it says musaddiqan lima bayna yadayhi what is between his hands so even muhammad he have the quran given from allah and he have the gospel between his hands and he believe in it not the gospel yeah well, this is what it says and even in translation they are adding which is the Torah and the gospel the gospel uh -huh. it says gospel not gospels right gospel gospel my friend the gospel is a gospel we don't have gospels in when, the Bible there's gospels no we have one gospel that's it when we say when we say in Arabic the word Injil this is a Greek word we don't have the word gospels we have Injil but when we saw the word Injil, you can ask any Arab, Injil mean all the Gospels in one book. Yeah, the Gospel. So in so, the, this is an English word, the Gospel thing. But in our, but but in uh, the language, when we say the word Injil, that mean we don't we don't say when I say uh, let us say I'm talking to somebody, my cousin, bring me the Injil. He will not say to me, oh what. Which one? Injil is one Injil. Injil is the book of God. That's what Injil means. So when the Quran speak, mention the word Injil, not the word gospel. Okay. But it says what the Injil is. What is the, the Injil? Clarifies okay, what is the in Injil? What is the Injil? And in, there's a verse. Uh -huh. Um in chapter five, if you go to verse forty six, it says uh -huh. that it is that it was given to Christ. None of the books all right. In the gospel, All right. in the in the Bible, were given to Christ. None okay. of them existed at the time of Christ. Okay, but you here you notice actually how stupid the Quran is, because how it what is given to Christ, and then he confirm what is between their hands. Because six hundred years after Jesus, what the Christian they have between their hands, according to the Christians and according to me, this is what Jesus gave us. He did not write books, but we wrote what he said. So. When the Quran confirm in chapter 5, verse number 46, saying that Musaddiqan Lima Bayna Yadayhi. Musaddiqan what? 
Lima bayna yadayhi, the same word, confirming what is between his hands. So it's confirmed. The Muslim they claim even the Torah is corrupted, but as you see, it's not the same verse you mentioned to me. And if Allah He sent Jesus the angel, that will be a stupid statement because as I know, Jesus He was speaking in the cradle. Is that correct? He was speaking in the cradle? Yeah. What does it say that at? You do not know that Jesus He spoke in the cradle? He spoke in his cradle like as a child? Yeah. What does it say that at? You know, your parents don't teach you the religion of Islam. You don't go to school. They teach you. I go to school. I was just not familiar with the Jesus um, okay. spoke in the cradle. Chapter 5, verse 110. It says, To kallim un nasa fil mahdi wa kahlan. And you spoke to people when you are a baby. Chapter 5, verse 110. Same, you know, when when the Jews they came to Mary in chapter 9 verse number 19 they said to her how you act like a whore very filthy word the Quran says Bagia. so uh, Mary she said to them she pointed her finger at the infant which is Isa aka Jesus she said to him to them talk to them talk to him and then he spoke in verse number 31 he said when he is in the cradle uh, I am, you know, verse number 30, he said, Isa speaking, Verily, I am slave of Allah. He has given me the scriptures and made me a prophet. So I want to ask you now, when Jesus received the scriptures from Allah, when he just born? Did he receive them? What is Are that, this is what the Quran received? said. Yeah, yeah. So the thing is, we don't have anything that goes back to the time of Christ. So how do we know that's a mistake? No, no, no. You see, this is not. I'm not talking about mistake. I'm, I, I, the, a person just he's just born. He born five minutes ago, when he received the scriptures. I mean, it could be possible that he received the scriptures when he was born. Okay, uh, uh, Muhammad. He received the scriptures after forty after forty years of age, and he did not receive all the scriptures together. Right? Every day the angel come to him, squeeze him, and give him some verses. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Jesus is born with the scriptures. This is what the Quran is saying. He's born with the scripture. Yeah. He's he's a he's an infant. The Jibreel came to him, squeezed to him, he said to him, recite. And Jesus says, eh, meh, wah, wah. I'm a child, you stupid. You're asking me to recite. What are you talking about? This is not what happened. Jesus is born. Speaking wise, as a messenger of God, and speaking the word of God. So according to the Quran, Jesus born with the scriptures. Yeah, he was born with the scriptures. It can be possible wonderful, that he was born with the scriptures. Wonderful, here we go. That's mean Jesus, my friend, is not a messenger of Allah. Because nobody can be born with the scriptures, because this has never happened. Neither Adam, neither because Muhammad and this they say Adam is a messenger of Allah, a prophet of Allah, Abraham, all the messenger, nobody. How come Jesus is born with the scripture? That means when he came to earth, he have with him the word of God. Do I agree? Yeah, it could be possible that he had the exactly. Word of God. So now yeah. where Jesus came in from? What do you mean where Jesus come from? Where Jesus coming from? Is Jesus coming like, from? As the, in, is he from the earth or he is from above? I don't understand your question. Like, what does he come from? As in, like, where was he? he I was am born, I mean, born yes. of my mother and my father. Absolutely. Okay. Yes, all of us are. Jesus coming from where? Is he from the earth or he's coming from heaven? He was born of his mother and father. Well, so, his mother. But born he, of the Virgin Mary, before sorry. before he was born of his mother, where he's coming? Where, where he was? He did not. Well, he didn't. He didn't exist before you. Like before you were in the uterus, you did okay. not exist, right? You are the one. You are the one who said to me, "Let us read the Quran." Correct? And you said the Quran spoke about Jesus. Correct? Isn't it the Quran says that Jesus is the word of Allah sent down to Mary? Yeah, he says word. Like he said, be and he exactly. was. Exactly. No, because Allah did not say even be. You know, this is a mistake in the Quran. 
because Allah did not create Adam, neither Jesus, by saying B. That is a false statement. But let us focus together and we will go there. In chapter 4, verse 171, it says that Allah speaking, saying that Jesus, the son of Mary, is a messenger of Allah and he is his word sent down to Mary. Did Allah send Muhammad to the mother of Muhammad as a word? What do you mean? Did he send did he send Muhammad down to the if mother? If there of is Muhammad? anyone, Allah sent him down as a word from heaven, and then he became a man. Yeah. Who? Like he said, Jesus. Allah said, "Be and he was." No. That's how Jesus was well, made. Why you are adding words there? Did Allah say "be," or He said He is His word? That's what the statement is. That just no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. I will go with this. We will go to the reverse. You are talking about different verse. We will laugh at it. But I want you to focus with me. When Allah He said to Jesus, "Be," Jesus was. Yeah, when Allah said be, like Allah says be, and Jesus says, for example, like you said, um, like in Gen like I'm not trying to jump here, just 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 be with me, okay? Mm -hmm. Like when God says, let there be this, be, there is this. So when Allah but says, Allah let never created be, anything by saying be, did he? He did. That's how that's how Jesus meant. He said be, and he was. No. If we go in the Quran, we will find that Allah He breathed into Mary vagina. And he did not if he because if he say be and he was, there is no need to breathe. Correct? He did not need yeah, to the, breathe. That's sure, sure. Okay. The Quran says he breathed on Mary? Yeah, in Mary vagina, not in Mary. It says in chapter twenty one, verse number ninety one. Oh, I have to see this. Give me a second. Yeah, I need to see this hold on. And remember, right? The translation here is false. It says God in her church chastity. This is a lie. It says the one who protected her vagina, which means nobody step with her. We breathe and look at the false launch. It says into her sleeves. The fact, no. It says fi farjiha. So we breathe into her vagina from our spirit, and we made her and her son a sign for mankind. So where is the word be? And you agreed. If Allah said be, Jesus was. But as you see, he would go, okay, Allah, he said be, but Jesus is not there. Allah have to breathe into Mary private part so Jesus can be exist. So they are lying to you, my friend. What be and he was? Because if I say be and he was, and I do not need to breathe, especially in a vagina, or I would not do anything. I just said be Jesus. Jesus is there. But as you see, Jesus is not there. It says we breathe into her of our spirit. Is that what that says? He breathed into her vagina. What does it say that at? Okay, uh, let me show you. Another, says, I, I will show you another verse to make it clear for you. Sure. The verse you are reading right now, chapter 21, verse number 91. Let us go to different verse. All right. Do you have the Quran with you? You're not you're not opening the Chapter 66, verse number 12, it says, I don't know if you can see my screen, it says here, we breathe into Muslims, they put the word womb, false, false. In Arabic it says, we breathe into it. The one who guarded her vagina, not the chastity, in it. In it, in the vagina. And even when they translate trying to lie, even that will get Muhammad busted. Because when you say we breathe into her womb, well, you have to go through the vagina. <laughs> so 
We breathe. Where did Jesus be and he was? That is a contradiction then. Isn't it the Quran said? If this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it another contradiction? Yeah, it okay. does say that. Okay. So if Allah said be to Jesus, there is no need for this drama. Jesus is there. Why God need to breathe into her vagina or her womb as the Muhammad and lie say? If he is just said being and Jesus was. Uh, he could, like, for example, he breathed into her uh -huh. and he said be and Jesus was. That means the word be is useless because if the word be will make it happen, then obviously it's not. Because alone, it doesn't make it work. So it's not be and he was. That's a lie then. That means the word of Allah be is useless. Okay, let me ask that you. Says, hold on, hold on. When okay. Allah, he said in the Quran, that the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam, he said to him, be and he was. Do you know the verse? Yeah. Okay. Did Allah create Adam by saying, be and he was? Then that verse say, he created him by saying, and I'm him. asking you. Did Allah created Adam by saying be and Adam was? According to that verse, yes. Okay, but no, according to this verse. Okay. Yeah. But according to the rest verses of the Quran, did Allah create Adam by saying be or he made mud and he mixed the mud and then he fashioned the mud and he used his two hands and then he breathed into the mud and before that he made the mud as a status for 40 years to dry and then he breathed into it which one he said be and it was or he breathed and he made mud and he fashioned the mud it could be that he breathed and then said be and he was okay which right, one so Allah he said first I want you to listen carefully yeah. this is a very sensitive question need your intelligence with me and I'm sure you are smart okay which one Allah said first be to Adam and he was or after he did fashioning Adam with the mud and etc. and breathing, then he said B. Which which one he said first? Do you think? Yeah. So, um, I think he he breathed on him, right? He breathed in the mud, or he breathed, uh -huh. and he said B, and Jesus was. Or uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. But okay, my friend, that's mean the word B is useless because if he said it before, still he have to use his hands, and he have to mix mud. And he have to fashion Adam. So the verse saying Adam is same as Jesus is a lie because neither Jesus, neither Adam exist by saying be and he was. As you see, and not only that, your prophet said that Allah after he created Adam, he waited for 40 years to make Adam dry. Dry. Allah don't have even a stove to dry the, 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 the mud of Adam. So when the Quran says such a thing, it's a lie. Because neither Adam, if Allah, you see, when the God of the Bible said, let be light, light was. He do not need to breathe and make cookies and bring some material, mix them together. This is what the word be mean. The will of God will happen immediately. He do not need to do additional thing. So when you say God, he said be, he was, then there is no need for bringing kitchen uh, things from the kitchen, bitting black black paper, mixing it with the uh, uh, with the uh, uh, some herbs and water, and it's this is cooking. This is not be and it was. How Allah created Adam? Did He created him by His hands or by be? He created him by both, right? So hold so, on, oh. no, you cannot be, because if He created him. By both, that means the word be is useless. Here we go. I'm going to say today, be cookies. And then I go to the kitchen. I start mixing things together with my hands. And then you claim that uh, that make me God because I said be and the cookie was there after two hours. In the case of Adam, after 40 years. So if he cannot create things but by, by because this is contradiction. If I created you by saying be, that means you are there already. This is what the word be may mean. But if I say be and nothing happened yet, I need to go and use my hands. As you see, the Quran says in chapter 38, verse number 75, speaking, Allah is asking Adam, why you did not breathe, why you did not bow down to Adam? He, uh, why you don't bow down to the man who I created by my two hands? 
by my two hands not only his hands Allah have two hands same time uh, in verse number 72 it says the following and 71 behold the Lord said to the angels I am about to create a man from clay and when I fashioned him in due proportion and breathe into him from my spirit fell down into him so Allah if he say be his be is useless because still he have to do use his hands he have to use his mouth he have to bring soul so what the word be does nothing false story yeah so for example um he, he breathes into he breathed into the like for example in this example Adam he fashioned he fashioned Adam out of clay for example he breathed into it said be like this boom and he was oh, okay. but he was already Adam is there <laughs> my friend but Adam the second, is, no no clay. no no listen listen right? the second you breathe into him did Adam come to life or he's not alive yet you said he he made him right and then he breathed no no no, no, no. hold on focus focus with me Story. Yeah, no, no. What's what I'm saying? Okay. You said he, uh, he when breathed Allah, him and he Allah waited he after that, right? Focus. So me. that means he's still there. Just hold that on. means he's not hold, alive yet. Hold on. No. When he breathed on him, you said to me, after he breathed, Allah said to him, "Be right." Yeah. Okay. Be so there. when 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 Allah he breathed, is Adam now a living being or not yet? Didn't you, didn't you even affirm that not yet? He's not a living being yet because you said he's not. Um. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because My friend, said... I will give you the last. I will give you the last statement just to show you that you are. You know, I'm not. I'm not. I'm trying not to insult you because you are a young person, uh, you're still ignorant. But let me show you that you are wrong. I want you to after we finish, to open the video, watch it carefully, check the reference, and laugh at yourself. The Quran says, "Wa al insan wa ajura," and the human being was ever hasty. Why? Because when Allah was creating Adam. He breathed into him. Adam, he come to life and he start moving. He want to move his limbs. His soul went down from his head downward. Before it arrived to his limbs, he tried to move them. He could not. So he said to Allah, finish me Allah before the sun set. Chapter 17, verse number 11. And let me show you Ibn Kathir. I want you to take a reference, write it down. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay. Chapter 17, verse number what? 11. So now we go there and we will see how Adam asking Allah to finish him before the sun set. Not only Allah could not finish Adam by saying, B, he's taking so long, slow. Even Adam was worried, man. I mean, come on, finish me before the sun set. So I don't know why it's not opening. Give me a second here. Something wrong with this website. Okay, give me a second. Okay. Can you can you see can you see my screen? Sir, I, I I'm not able. My to friend, see it at open all. open Skype, open open. Uh, uh, Open my, my page. You know my channel, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Open it. You will see me live. Mute YouTube so you can hear me from your Skype so we don't have double sound. And I want you to read with me. So here, what kind of insan wa ajura? This is the Quran. Interpretation. It says here, from, 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 from Salman al-Farsi, from, 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 from Ibn Abbas, from, 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 etc. Okay, the story of Adam. When he wanted to get up, before his soul reached his feet, when his soul was breathed into him, let's careful with me. When his soul breathed into him, it entered his body from his head downward. And when it reached his brain, he sneezed, Hachu! And he said, Alhamdulillah, Adam, he speak Arabic right away. He's not even, you said to me, he's not alive yet, remember? But as you see, he's alive, he's talking. Alhamdulillah, and Allah answered him, they are talking now. Alhamdulillah, and Allah said to him, May your Lord have mercy on you, Adam. <laughs> Adam is talking, and his uh, the spirit is going down. When it reached his eyes, he opened them. Look like, hold on. He sneezed, 
and when the soul reaches eyes look like the eyes soul of Allah reached the nose before the eyes look like in the Islam the nose of Adam was above the eyes at that time because it says after he sneezed then it reached his eyes which is funny which means the, the soul arrived to his nose and he sneezed but let it go when it reached his eyes he opened them blink 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 and when it reached his body and limbs he started to stare at them in wonder he wanted to get up before it reached the, his feet so the, the, the soul is not his, even in his feet yet but he could not he said oh Allah make it happen before the night comes what do you think did Allah say be and he was I'm sorry, say it again. Did Allah say be and he was? It taken a long time. As you see, even Adam is worried about the sunset, which is funny. The guy is just a created. How he see the sunset? And there's sunset in the heaven? <laughs> He's in heaven. <laughs> Finish me before the sunset? Adam asking Allah, saying to him, Finish me before the sunset, and you are trying to fool yourself saying, Allah, He said to Adam, Be and He was. Why Allah is so slow? All right, my friend, it was nice talking to you, and I'm happy that you agree Muhammad is a false man. And I hope soon I will hear that you are reading the Bible. And you will be being a believer and you will be saved from this garbage. Sir, so um, about about that, if you can explain to me a few questions that I had about that, then I will. Um, well, you know, explain to me about what? About the about the, the Christian thing, because like I said, I, I was ex-Christian. Um, you was what? Ex-Christian. You are ex-Christian? Yes, sir. What does that mean? I was I was raised Christian originally. What do, What do you mean raised Christian? How do you can be a raised Christian? I was raised in a Christian family. Okay. Where you were all yourself raised. Do you in know Christian the family? Do you know the prayer? The prayer, the oh, Lord's prayer. Yeah. In the Book of Matthew. Can you Can you recite for me? Sure. Um, I probably won't get exactly right, but I will give you what uh, I know. If you do not, no, no, no. You see, you never so been. It says, no, 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 Lord, no, no. You, you, may you, your name you will be holy. Hold on. You will tell me what do you know. That's me. You never yes, been Christian. Yes, I will. No, no, you never am a Christian. But anyway, you say to me, you are ex-Christian. Yes, sir. But you do not know even how to recite a simple word, simple prayer of Jesus, which is given I to us. I do know how to recite it. No, you just said, I will tell you what I know. Yeah, yeah, I will tell you, because like I said, there's different translations, right? So I will tell you ah, what okay, I read. Okay, listen, listen. Okay, so now, what is your question about Christianity? So I have a question about Christianity. Mm -hmm. Um... But do you agree with me now that Muhammad is a false man? I said if that's just, if he meant that statement and that's that's what he Don't meant, then that is false. Stop saying to false. me if he meant. I show it to you on the screen. I give you the reference. We read the Muslim translation, and instead you are saying to me if. Yes, if that's what he meant, then he's a false man. Okay, sure. he's a false man. That's wonderful. So now you are not a Muslim no more. That's wonderful. So now tell me the question about Christianity. Go ahead. Okay, so. Can you explain the, the logical problem of the Trinity? Why it's logical? Explain it to me. The logical... So, there's three distinct persons, right? Mm-hmm. And they are... They are all 100% God. Mm hmm But they're, it's one God, correct? Mm hmm The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Mm hmm Okay. So, how can you have three distinct persons and have one God? Hmm. But they're all 100% God. Okay, I want you to listen to me carefully. When we say the word God, Almighty, what does that mean? That means Almighty? God Almighty. What Almighty mean? Like all-powerful? And now you are asking me how that is possible to be logical? So what is logical for you, it's not in the, in the dictionary of God because nothing is impossible for God. Maybe you cannot be three and one at the same time. Maybe I cannot be here and be in Japan at the same time, but for God, nothing is impossible. So my friend, you got the wrong idea what the word God means. So 
Can you explain God to me? You cannot. Why? Okay. Because God is a miracle. Do you agree that God is a miracle himself? Absolutely. Okay. So can you explain the miracle? Okay. So No, can you, you explain God. can you explain the miracle? Can I, can I explain God? Can you explain the miracle? The miracle of God? What is like the, who what, God is? What is a miracle? Something that you cannot um prove or disprove by science. Something out of the ordinary. Right? Okay. So the logic, even the logic of science cannot explain it, correct? Sure. Okay. So how you're trying to explain how God can be three and one by logic, which is funny logic, because the second you say is God, that means he's above all logic, above all nature, above all the physics, he's God. So either you want to contradict yourself, you do not know what God means, you need to go and learn the language from the beginning, or you know what the God word mean, or the God mean, or the word God mean, and then you try to play with your brain, says, how can God be three and one? But however, I want to show you that you are three and one. What do you think? Okay, so no, hold on, hold on. You. Are you three and one or one? I'm one person. One okay. person. Do you have a flesh? Yes. Do you have a soul? Yes. Is the soul the same as the flesh? Do I have a flesh, like a flesh body? Is yeah, yeah, body and soul yeah, yeah, your body. Body and soul are different. They are different, right? Yeah. But aren't you both are one? Because your soul and your body is one person? I am one person. No, 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 no. Focus with me, focus with me. Okay. You as a person is soul and body. Do we agree? Yes. But this is two. Um, that my, that, okay, so my soul, like you said, body and soul are two different things, right? You, uh, wait, do, do we need to repeat again what we just said? You, yeah, you, you said agreed. You agreed. No, you agreed. I said to you, do you have a body? You said yes. I said, do you have a soul? You said yes. Okay. Is the body the same as the soul? You said no. Correct? Yes. Okay. So both of them, they are different, but they are two and they have totally different nature. Do we agree? Sure. What? Well, my soul is who I am. My soul defines who I am as a person, right? No, 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 no. Your soul and your body is you. Not your soul alone. My soul is me. My, bo my body is just a body. No, because Adam... When he was created, Allah created the body first, and then he breathed into him. And then when the body is inside, the the soul is inside the body, that is a fully human being, not before. If the soul is not there, is not created yet. It's just a flesh. So the soul and the body, not the soul alone. The soul is always exist, actually. Isn't it the Quran says, I breathe into him. He breathed, correct? From where? Yeah. From my spirit. So spirit is always there. But that spirit is inserted inside the body of Adam. That become the property of Adam temporarily. So Adam and his as, as, as a body and his spirit became united. And this is why in the day of the judgment day, we have resurrection, correct? Yeah. What resurrection mean? Resurrection, rising from the rising from the dead. No, resurrection means reuniting your soul with your body, so you will become alive again. Correct. Yeah. Okay. You so, just proved my so point, you sir. are no. Hold on. So you to be a person to be judged by God, he is not rising a body, he's rising both, the body and the soul is you. You, I think you just proved a point, sir, because you just established that without the soul, the body, the body is useless. So no, that, if the body is useless, the then Allah will not, or the God, the one you used to worship, He will oh. not need the body. So the body is not exist you as a person without the body. If Muhammad have no body, he is just a spirit. He is not a human. You are a human because you have a body, and 
You cannot be human without having the soul. So the body and the soul made you human. It's not the body alone. The rock have a body. Is the rock is a life and a human? Rocks don't have bodies? They're just rocks. Yeah, it's a body. Body is what? It's a material. Yeah. Okay. And actually, your, 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 uh, your flesh is rocks. You know, what is this? Just dirt, right? It's dirt. Yeah. Okay. So the dirt plus the soul made you. You are not alone. And now let us add one more. You and your flesh and your mind. If you don't have a mind, are you exist? You will be what? If you don't have if a brain. If you have a body and soul, but no mind. If you don't have. you're still a person. You just, you're just not functioning. No. Okay. Wonderful. You said you're not functioning. If there's somebody who have a brain damage, he die, correct? If he has severe brain damage, yeah. Okay. But the brain damage is what? I mean, why the brain is so important? You can have a finger damage. You don't die. You can cut your leg. You don't die. I mean, uh, but the brain, if you take it away, even if the brain is still there, actually, in your head, but somebody have a, um, like, brain attack. Like the yeah, same as the heart body attack. Dies. Okay. So if that is stuff functioning the brain, if the body is still there, alive, your hands is fine, your legs is fine, your flesh is fine, but there is only one part. It's called the brain. That brain is what makes you unique as a human being. And that brain, if it's missing, you are dead. Or if the brain stops working, you are dead. They can keep you alive by machine, by giving you food. But in reality, you are brain dead. The second yes. they take the machine, you are dead. So look what happened now. You are the will, which is the brain. Your brain is your will. You are the flesh. And you are a soul. Three in one man. If one of them is missing, you are not exist. And the, you are a human. In the case of God, God, he is as he is. It's not you up to you to tell him how you can be three and one. Because he's God. Of God, he says, I am a billion, not a three. Only stupid people, they can question that. Because either you know what the word God mean, or you are ignorant fool. You call him God, yet you question how God can do what is impossible. Yeah, so I don't, I see two problems with this argument. First, body, soul, and mind are parts of the human. No. They're not 100% the human. No, my friend, no. You see, the soul, the soul is a soul. Yes, the soul part of the and, human. No, hold on. The soul is a soul, the body is a body, and if we separate them, you are not a human no more. The soul, the body will become dirt, and the soul is in the wind. Yeah, because part of that is missing. You're not a human because the soul, so, the body, exactly. and the mind so what are make you, parts of what the make human. You human. Not no, not part human. of a human. No, not part. Not part. Because when we say part, that means they are the same. You see, my hand is part of my body. Why? Because my hand is a flesh. My shoulder is a flesh. My leg is a flesh. The soul have nothing to do with this part thing. Because the soul is not a physical thing. So the soul within you is the power of life which God he gave you. That is the soul. So you as a body, you are nothing without the power of God, which is making you alive, which we call it soul. Muslim cannot even define what soul is. Even when they asked Muhammad, they said to him, what is a, what is a soul? What is a spirit? He says, only Allah knows, which is very simple answer. You know, I mean, anyone knows what soul is, the power of life. But because Muhammad is a fool, he cannot even answer such a question. So you as a human, you can be three and one in the same time. And you are questioning how God can be three and one. Same time, when Jesus, he, you know, he came to this earth, I can say I am even son of God. You can say that. He can say that. But Jesus is not like anyone. This is why he is the only one is born, but he have no father. He is the only one right now alive in heaven. Everybody is dead. He is the only one who never commits sin. Chapter 19, verse 19 in the Quran, the Holy Son. He is the only one 
who is taken up by uh, by Allah to heaven. Muhammad is dead in the ground. Cockroaches ate him. He is the only one who can tell you the future. The only one can heal the blind. The only one can heal the leper. And the only one who can resurrect people from death. And then they ask you then, they say, how you say Jesus is God? And not only that, the stupid Quran says that Jesus can create from the mother bird. That means he's a creator. Do you remember when I asked you in the beginning? When Allah, he said he is the best of the creators? Yeah. Okay. How many creators there is? Us humans are creators, like I said. I'm asking you, how many creators there is? How many? Pe a, a lot of them. No, There's the creator. Humans, stop, you know, you see, I don't want to hang up on you. I, I'm, I'm trying to be patient as much as I can. The one who create, I show you the verse in the Quran. Allah, he says, how you can worship someone cannot create a fly. So the creation in the Quran is creating a fly. Fly. If you cannot create a fly, you are not God. So don't fool yourself with the creating of bicycle. This is not a creation. This is a creative idea. Shame on you. Okay. You are 18 years old. Creative idea have nothing to do with the word the creation. Because a creation is when you make something a life. This is number one. Or something out of nothing. Not making a bicycle. When I make okay. a bicycle, I bring steel. I, I just make a screws. I make this is not a creation. I'm using what is, is exists before me, not made by me. When so, you make something alive, don't mother, father make something alive? No, you don't make the somebody alive. The Quran is against that too, isn't it? We just showed you the Quran says Allah He breathed. Allah He breathed. Mary, she is giving birth, right? Yeah, I'm talking okay. about Okay, but Allah He breathed into Mary. So if if the, if your father and your mother can do give you birth without Allah, then why Allah he breathed into Mary? He just said to Jesus, be and he was, but he needed to breathe. What the breathing will do? The breathing give the life. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, so giving life, creating, creating is making that. life. What the Quran is saying. Same time, Jesus he created from the mother bird. So now how many creators we have according to the Quran? We have Baal, we have Allah, we have Jesus. The Muslim, they say that the power Jesus have is given to him from Allah. No problem. That will not change the fact that he is a creator now. As we speak, there's birds in heaven flying right now made by Jesus. He created, he said, I create to you. Not I will ask Allah to create for you. I create for you. I make mud. I breathe into the mud and I buy the leave of Allah. Who care about the leave of Allah? Still he can create. So he's a creator. So my friend, okay. when you want to ask, when you want to ask, listen, you are trying to be stubborn and I feel sorry for you. No, 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 sir. No, listen, no, no, hold on, hold I, I on. Have... Listen, 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 go ahead, go ahead. listen. Okay. You know, you are being stubborn and I don't blame you for being stubborn in your age. This is how it is. But when I was in your age, I was not like that. I take what people say and study it carefully. And I'm, yeah. I'm giving you an example how you don't study and you don't want even to listen. So when I show you what Muhammad said, the sun set in murky water, you say to me, maybe he meant that it's uh, appear. I, it says, it said, you say it appear. I say it said, you say it's appear. So you are not listening. And then at the end, if you say, if it says after all this conversation, if he says that, yes, he's a false man. So it took me an hour to make you understand it's set, not as appear. This is how stubborn you are. So I want to ask you a very simple question. Can God be as he wish or he cannot? Can God be as I wish or he has, as, as he, he wish, wish? As he wish. No, God can only do things that, so you're saying, okay. Hold on, sir. hold on, hold on. You just said God cannot be what he want to be. Can God die if he wants to, sir? Hold on. It doesn't matter. Yes, if God want to die, he can die. Why not? That means God cannot be God. That means God is not eternal. Hold on. Hold on. Listen, listen, listen. God can, can God die? So are you saying to me that if God, he tried to get rid of his existence, he cannot? No, because he can only do. Okay, sir, hold listen. on. That means he's not God. That means he's limited. There's, there's things he cannot do. 
No, listen. God can only do <laughs> no, things that who, befit who told his you, majesty. Who is the one who decide for can, you? Oh, listen. Who is the one who decide what God can do, what can God cannot do? Are you stupid or what? Why you call him God? Because he can do everything. Difference. No, if God cannot do, you see, when we say, can he die? This is a stupid thing to say, actually. I mean, why he want to die? Why you want to die? You know, because even when you as a human being, when they kill you, even when they kill you, you are not totally dead, according to stupid Muhammad. You go in the grave, angels will ask you questions. Who is this guy? His name is Muhammad. Who is this? What is your religion? You say Islam. You are dead now. So according to Islam, even when you are dead, you are not dead. But I will go now without Islam. Even when you somebody kill you, kill the, he, they kill the flesh. The spirit never die. The spirit never ever die. So why the spirit will never ever die? Because that is from God. So when we say hypothetically, like pathetically, like, you know, can't God die? Well, if he want, yes. But in the same time, no. Because even when Jesus died in the cross, Jesus is still alive by the Spirit. So they killed his body, but nobody can kill God. But Jesus says, I lay down myself. Nobody can take myself from me. I lay down myself. So even a human being, when he die, it is only the flesh is dying. The spirit ever, never, ever die. This is why when you are going to go, the human being is eternal, my friend. You are being, being silly. Human being, he will be either eternal in heaven or eternal in hellfire. He is eternal already. He is, you know, when you say only God is eternal, that's stupid. Only stupid people say that God is eternal and you are eternal and I am eternal because we will live for eternity either in heaven or in hell. Either one, we are eternal. So it's a stupid of you to try to compare and try to bring God into philosophy and your funny logic. Same time, the Hindus have 30 million God. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah, I know the Hindus have more have multiple gods. Yes, thirty five you know million god. What if they Millions. are? What if they are truly exist? Are you going to say to them, "I don't like you"? What if they what now? What if they are? What if they? What, what if the Hindu are right? There is three thirty five million god. Are you going to laugh at them? <laughs> Are you going to say, <laughs> you stupid, how you can be 35 million God? Huh? What kind of logic is that? Well, if they are, they are. So don't be foolish and don't be shallow. God, he is exist before us and we are not the one designing God. What you are trying to do, you are trying to design God. And the funny is that you are 18 years old, but a bunch of idiots fool you and made you convert to stupid religion, says your penis will be endless and there's women waiting for you to F them. How in the world the person tried to be smart, he accepts such a thing? How a person in the world, he is a smart, he accepts that there's a God. If you believe in him, he will give you a pillow. Do you like banana? Allah promised you banana. Are you a monkey? Obviously you are. So if you try to be smart, well, show me how you smart you are when you converted to Islam. Let me make it simple for you. When those Abdul spoke to you and fool you and convert you to Islam, how they converted you? I'm sorry, how did they convert me? Yeah, how they convinced you Islam is, is a true from God. Okay. Okay, so here's, here's the thing. So I've tried to... Now, I want to answer your question, but I've tried multiple times to, to speak and point out issues within all of your arguments that you're making and you're not allowing me to. So I will point out these things and your these issues I have with all of your arguments and you can respond to them. No, no, no. no. So, I'm asking you first. I explain to you. Right. You ask me the question. Don't tell me I'm not allowing you to talk. That's false. I'm asking you. No, I, ex I explain I've... to you. I explain to you what nobody can explain. You cannot question God. For he is almighty. It's not up to you to say God cannot be. That is stupid. Like as an example, the Quran says, how Allah can have a son. Do you agree with Allah? Explanation? How he can have a son? How is, he, how is that, it, that he can have a son? Why Allah have a son? Why Allah he cannot have a son? Do you know? 
because that's who he is. You know, because no, he's no, no, because he don't have a girlfriend. Well, yeah, that too. Yeah, he doesn't have a mate, so he can't. He can't do anything. Aha! Uh -huh. So listen. So Allah cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. So what make him unique? Nothing. I cannot have a son without girlfriend. You cannot have a son without girlfriend. Allah cannot have a son without girlfriend. Mary, she can have a son without boyfriend. Why? Because the God of Mary, he is above physics and the law of physics. Did you get it? So when Allah in the Quran, chapter 6, verse 101 says, To him is due the permal origin of the heaven and the earth. How can he have a son when he doesn't have a girlfriend? Sahiba, not concerned. Sahiba mean girlfriend. So, Allah explained to us how limited he is. How can I have a son if I don't have a girlfriend? So it's like, if you ask me, do you have kids? I say, I'm going to have kids. I don't have, I'm not married. That's not nice of you to ask. I mean, don't you know I'm not married? So how am I going to have kids? Have you ever heard of a man? He can have sons by himself. Allah is the same as me and you. He cannot have a son. But here, the, the, the author of the Quran, he forgot that he mentioned in chapter 19 that Mary, she have a son and she don't have a boyfriend. Contradiction, because if Allah cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend, then if Allah is the one who made Mary have a son, he cannot be Allah. Because Allah, he can marry, have can make somebody else have a son without boyfriend. But he cannot make himself have a son without girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, that's fair, sir. You've you've said various things that are false, um, and I like to correct you. First, mm -hmm. you said that Jesus. Um, when you say how is Jesus God, he said Jesus is the only one who doesn't. He was born with with the mother and no father. Correct? Is that what you said? I did not say with mo without mother. Jesus born with without mother. With mother, no, no, uh -huh. yes, no, sir. Yeah. With mother and without a father. Yes. Does that, if that proves his divinity, Adam did, had no mother or father. Does that make him God? Okay, J just to show you how silly you are, isn't it the Quran says the similarity of Adam is the same as Jesus? He said to him, "Be and he was," and we prove that this is false. Same time, Adam is not born. Are you an idiot? Is Adam born? Jesus is the only one is born. I said. Jesus is the only, 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 no one in this world is born. Adam is not born. Adam is made by mud. So the only one is born is Jesus, but he is the only one born. He have no father. He is the only one. He have no sin. He is the only one in heaven, according to Islam, and all prophets are dead. He is the only one. Who God Himself take him to Him? No, cannot. Nobody can kill him. He is the only one who can make the blind see. He is the only one who can resurrect people from death. He is the only That's one who can sir. create from the mother bird. He is the only one who can tell you what you hide in your houses. That's false, sir. Elijah resurrected someone from the dead, didn't he? This is not according. No, even Elijah he could not because God he did not Elijah. Same time, according to the Quran, only Jesus did that. The Quran yes, sir, we're says. Talking about no, oh, go, go, no, no, listen, go. listen, listen, listen. You see, when I say to you, Jesus is created from the mother bird, etc., this is all from the Quran. I'm not reading from the Bible because we don't have such a story. This is a fabrication. But I'm showing to you how stupid the Quran. The Quran is the one who's saying all things about Jesus. That will make Jesus God for sure. Because if Jesus is the creator in the Quran, well, he is God. If Jesus can resurrect people from death, he is God because the Quran says, who can do those things save Allah? And then we find that Jesus can do those things, not only Allah. And when you so mentioned to me no. Elijah or other prophet, they did not resurrect people from death. That is God resurrecting people from death. In the story of Jesus, Jesus he did and Jesus he command. In the case of other prophet, they pray to God. And God resurrect them. As an example, in the Quran, there's a stupid story about the cow. Do you know why the cow chapter called the cow chapter? Yes, about the um, the person that was killed. Uh -huh. Are you referencing referring that to that? Uh huh. Did okay. Did Musa resurrect the guy or Allah resurrect the guy? 
Allah resurrected him, right? Yeah. So it's not Moses in the Quran. Moses cannot. Muhammad cannot. Same time, when you say to me, Allah resurrected him, this is funny. Because if Allah resurrected him, then why did beat the guy with the cow? Yeah. So what yeah, what yeah? I'm asking you. If Allah can resurrect, why we need to beat the dead guy by the cow? You're asking me why God ordered someone to do something? I can't I can't. If Allah is sure the one God. who can resurrect people from death, why I need to beat the dead guy with the beef? Yeah, that's um, that's pretty dumb logic. So, this is dumb logic. Like saying, are you saying the Quran yes, is? So you are saying the Quran is dumb. Your logic of interpreting it is dumb, sir. Why is dumb? So, no, hold like on, I hold said, on. Explain to me, here. Okay. guys, it's dumb. Okay. Why? Explain okay. to me. That's like saying if if God worked miracles, if God was the one who, for example, you believe that the prophet Moses, mm. um, dropped his stick on the ground mm. and it turned into a snake. Mm -hmm. Or he raised his, or he, um, or he parted the Red Sea, right, with mm. his uh, staff. That's like saying, if God is doing these miracles, why does Moses have to put his staff on the ground? First of all, you know, when he, we are talking about resurrecting people from death, according to you, it's Allah who resurrected people, not Moses, right? Sure. Okay. So, and according to the Bible, it's not Moses. It's not the stick of Moses. There's nothing. It's called magical stick. That is a lie. So when Moses, they are doing magic, Moses showed them that my God can do what you cannot do. In their mind, they thought this is magic, but that's a miracle of God. It's not Moses. Moses did nothing. It's not Moses who opened the ocean with his stick. That's false. It is God who opened the ocean with, with, with his power. Same that's what I'm you, saying. Hold on. Listen, no. Go ahead. No, no, that's not what you're saying. What you're trying to say, you're trying to compare with the false argument. It's not exist in the Bible. Saying it to here, here. How we can resurrect people from, from from death? We beat them by beef, not by Allah. What is the connection with the beef beating on Allah? The same thing with, like, as a sign. You beat someone, and Allah says, what do sign? this. Okay, did Jesus, when he resurrect people from death, did he beat them with beef? No. Why? There was no beef at that time? No, he didn't. He didn't need to. Right? Ah, he did not need to. Are you saying to me, Allah, he need to beat that guy with beef to resurrect him? No, I'm saying that that's that's the order that he gave, right? I don't know what why order? he gave this order. What order? Beat the the okay. person. The order with the beef. Who said to me that Allah? He said B is going to be. With regards to creation, yes. Okay. Yes. God, he said to the ocean, open to Moses. The ocean opens. It's not the staff of Moses. God, he said, be light. Light was here. Can't Allah say, be to the dead body, be alive, and he will be alive? Yes, supposed to, he can. But as you see, he cannot. He says, bring a cow. He described the cow, the age of the cow, the look of the cow, the color of the cow, and should be, etc. Never walk in the field. Special description as if he's making a recipe. And then this cow. You cut the cow and you beat the dead guy and then he will come alive. That is a witchcraft. It's a witch. You know, this is voodoo. Bring some zucchini, mix it with bucchini, put some spices and put it in the fire and say those words and then the, you know, the magic will happen. So if Allah is the one doing power, not voodoo, he do not need beef and the beef have a special specification. And the tail and the color. Here we go. If you read the verse number 71, it says, and he says, a uh, 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 heifer, not a train to tail the soil or water in the field, sound without blemish. They said, Now hast thou taught the truth. And I love the truth. It's, this is the description of the cow. Amazing. And then, and then, remember when they slew the guy, and the, they came to Moses and said to him, this guy was killed. You know who killed him. So Allah told them, okay, bring this cow. Cut the cow. This description of the cow. Beat the guy. The guy come back to life for 20 seconds. He said the name of the one who killed him, and he died. 
You are okay. a person who keep talking about logic. Is that logical? That's your exact same logic with what I said. You said you had not acknowledged. Listen, you had acknowledged God. Moses did nothing when he did his miracles. It was God doing them through Moses, correct? Yeah. That's what that's what it says, right? Hmm. Okay, absolutely, hundred percent. So, doesn't it also say in the book of Acts that God did miracles through Jesus? Because God is Jesus in earth. God Himself, isn't it? The, isn't it the Bible says too? That God, he humbled himself, he come in the flesh. So God, he did miracle through Jesus as a flesh. God come to the earth in the flesh of the man, and he did miracle through Jesus. We don't worship the body, the flesh of Jesus. We worship God, the word of God, who humbled himself, he took the flesh. So when God come to this earth, he come to be like us, the Bible says, Nobody can see God and live. If you see him the way exactly he is, you will not be able to handle it. You will be burned. You will be destroyed. So God, he humbled himself, and he did. And here you will notice that when we say God, he did miracle through Jesus, you forgot that all the Bible says that Jesus himself is the miracle. Isn't it him who said, I am the resurrection, I am the life, I am the truth. Didn't he say that? Only God is the life. Only God is the truth. Only God is the resurrection. Not only he, he's, he's not saying I will give you life. I am the life. So when you try to fool yourself and quote a verse from the Bible, you have to connect it to the rest. And as long we are saying that God, he did miracle through Jesus. Did you just say that? Isn't that what Acts says? No. God did miracles through Jesus. Do you agree Jesus. with it? Do you agree with it or you don't? Sure. God did. Okay. God does miracles did through all his prophets, for, right? Did Jesus forgive sin? In the Bible, yes. Okay. He did. He did forgive sin. Hold on. So if God did miracles through Jesus, that will not give a permission to Jesus to forgive sin because only God forgive, correct? Yes. Okay. That means Jesus is God. Let me ask you now, can Allah forgive sin? Can Allah forgive sin? Yes. yes. If you repent, yes. That's false. Can you read for me the verse I will show you? Um, Sir, I don't think you understand. I, I, I'm not able to see. Why you cannot see? Open the verse. You can search in your phone. You keep giving me excuses. Sir, I'm I blind. I, you are 18 years old. You have a phone in your hand and you do not know how to search a verse. I can search the verse, but I can't okay. read from your screen, no, you sir. you can read it from there. I'm not asking you to read from my screen. I said, open the Quran. Open the stupid Quran. Chapter 48, verse number 2. Allah making a wish to other Allah. Say, may Allah forgive your sin. Jesus he is not saying, may God forgive you. Jesus said, go and your sin is forgiven. This is why John, in, in Jesus in John 8, 23, he says, he told them, you are from below, I am from above. And when Jesus says, go and your sin is forgiven, he is speaking with the authority which is given to him from the Father. Jesus said, everything I have is given to me from the Father and the authority over the flesh and the judgment. Uh, so here oh. in the chapter, did you open the chapter? I'm trying to give you time to open the chapter. Okay, sure. I'll open the chapter. Yeah. Chapter 48, verse number what? Do you know? You said verse 2, correct? Uh -huh. Okay, I will search and I will open it. Mm -hmm. 